far away You seem so far away When it was only yesterday That you were so close to me Enough. What's up, YouTube, man? Back with a quick video. This is Enoch777. Hope all is well. Shouts out to everyone out there. Y'all stay out of the way. Say, focus and balance. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate the love, the support, the comments, all that, man. The title of the video is going to be about understanding 11 dimensions. That's the title of the video. So, before I continue, let me just say this. If you haven't experienced personally each and every one of these dimensions, meaning that you haven't felt the emotions while you were in it, you know, all of this is a perception as well because out of the windows to your soul, this is you being able to see all of the 11 dimensions that exist inside of one universe. There is only 11 dimensions inside of one universe so you have certain people here like myself that are spiritual beings in the human body that are high dimensional beings meaning that um they may be in 22 dimensions right so this is something that you have to come to actually realize are you one of those people i don't know that is for you to actually find out right so the fruit you weird bro it's a bird walking around trying to pretend like it's a bird but it's really something else <laughs> I'm too smart, bro, for this dimension, bro. Anyways, let's continue. So, um, with the first dimension, right? With the first dimension, you have to be able to see this in a way of a person that wears glasses or a person that is blind. So, what I mean by this is that these people only can see into certain dimensions with the glasses on or if they just were playing out blind so what they would see out of the windows to the soul is a dot a tiny dot and they will also begin to see shapes and patterns and this is the first through the second dimension so this is me saying 2d patterns that may be made of if you want to say a triangle or a square this is what they would see and it's second dimensional so you can't look around it it cannot spin and become a 3d model so with the third dimension this is a 3d model this is taking that physical object that came into being and this is spinning this around and you are able to see all of its shapes in front of you meaning if a person turned around or oh, i can see you there they turn this way you can see right there you get what the freak i'm saying but it also deals with if you want to say the mind because some people aren't spiritual some people have a belief system which creates this space for you to actually be shut in and this is creating if you want to say some type of imprisonment and this goes with a person's belief systems you know so spirituality we are not within the third dimension so that's how you perceive that dimension so the fourth dimension would be dreams where dreams take place but what is happening right now is that within this third dimension we are merging back with our higher selves we are 
confusing back with all higher selves and this third dimension is becoming the dream realm so this is taking the third dimension and the fourth dimension and closing it in together you know to create one so this is where they say life is a dream you know so this is what is actually taking place now the fifth dimension is the fourth dimension on steroids you know and this is you being able to have full awareness like we are dreaming this is you being able to master that dream this is you being able to see through that dream so <laughs> yeah so with the six and the seventh dimension what this is actually made of is picture three different time bubbles around you and this consists of if you want to say the past present and the future so with these three different time bubbles being portals and gateways you can actually walk through you know this is what the sixth and the seventh dimension is actually made of so this is you being able to walk in each and every one of these portals and being able to time travel right and this is me mentioning parallel universes because if you know anything about you multitasking you doing multiple things at once this is what that actually looks like on a way higher level so hopefully you get that the seventh dimension is the same as the sixth dimension but with the seventh dimension there is no laws in physics that will prevent you from traveling in the seventh dimension like it is within if you want to say the sixth dimension right so with the eighth dimension this is people coming to the realization that certain stuff don't exist um and it does at the same time so this is what the eighth dimension is actually made of the ninth dimension would technically be you knowing that aliens are us you are aware of their existence and you know everything about that mixed in with ufos right that is all here with us now so with the tenth dimension this is the dimension of if you want to say people turning into gods and goddesses you know this is you being able to manifest a hundred percent times over this is you maximizing your magic within that realm and you are able to create from scratch so this is what that dimension is made of now with the last dimension being 11th dimensions there is only 11 dimensions within one universe so with this last one this is you coming to the realization that we all are basically the freaking universe right you can feel it on the inside and this is what actually makes you into the whole taking the smallest piece meaning the molecules and the atoms and the matter you know the smallest thing to the biggest thing which makes you complete which is yourself you are already complete so that is 11 dimensions explained by me anyways bro this enoch 777 peace i'm out love y'all